As we left the canyon, we followed the Wind River Range and headed into the Shoshone National Forest. It was the first federally protected forest in the United States. It spans over 2.4 million acres. It encompasses sagebrush plains, spruce and fir forests, and craggy mountain peaks. It was also the escape route for Chief Joseph and his band of Nez Perce Indians. They were fleeing from the cavalry who wanted to force them onto a reservation. State Highway 296 is now called the Chief Joseph Scenic Byway. This highway intersects with Highway 212, dubbed America's Most Beautiful Road by Charles Corot. It's also called the Beartooth Highway. Starting outside of Red Lodge, Montana, it snakes its way south into Wyoming. Expansive vistas across broad wilderness reveal valleys carved out by glaciers as they worked their way through the Beartooth Range 30,000 years ago. The stunning landscape contains many trails and places to stop. It's ideal for day hikes or hardcore backpacking. There are almost a thousand lakes hidden away in this wilderness. Several have campgrounds close by. Over 10,000 feet at its highest point, discovering the Beartooth makes you feel like you're on top of the world. As we descended the Beartooth into Yellowstone National Park, we encountered a series of waterfalls. The first, Tower Falls in the Hanging Valley, was obscured by a growth of trees. What the National Park Service mentality is, is to leave everything natural. Well then, since there were none of these trees down below, all the way over there, at the time they first built this overlook, you could see the whole waterfall from bottom to top. Now why have an overlook when you can't even see it anymore? Now I'm not going to promote a felony, but I would compliment and give a medal to anyone who chopped these damn trees down so that you could see what the waterfall was all about. <laughs> Stupid! The Kodak Moment Liberation Cause was appealing, but our anger dissipated when we saw a nearby Inspiration Point. Many consider this to be the most scenic view in Yellowstone. Here the river falls over 300 feet into the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. The red and yellow rock walls of the canyon are rhyolite, remnants of the volcanic eruption 630,000 years ago that formed the park. This awesome beauty masks the violent past that led to its creation. We find out that Yellowstone is still a volcanic hotspot. <laughs> 